How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. So I started another small segment on Open Court and it's called My Racket Collection. So I have about 15 rackets I think and I just want to kind of talk about all the rackets that I have not in super great detail but not in all one video either and so in today I'm going to start talking about probably my favorite racket of all time and that is this racket. So I get a lot of comments asking me, what is this racket, this blacked out racket? Is it a pro stock? Is it custom painted? Is it a limited edition? What is this? Well, it's a limited edition of a retail racket. This is the 2013 Head Utec Graphene Speed Pro. So it's in this limited edition all black cosmetic. Uh, from what I know, only 600 of this particular cosmetic was made worldwide. So this is this is one of only 600 of this racket produced. So it's pretty rare. As you guys can see here, it says speed right on the inside of the frame. So this is just a limited edition paint job of a racket that was released to the public. And the regular version of this looks like this. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. So this 2013 was the very first racket that had introduced their new proprietary graphene technology which they still use in their rackets today. Here are the specs to the racket. It's a 22 millimeter straight beam, uh, 100 square inches, so it's very, very stable. It's a very tight 1820 string pattern, so it's very solid from the baseline, very solid on returns, very stable, and it's regarded as a top tier baseliner slash ground strokers racket. So what do I like about this racket? It plays phenomenally from the baseline. It gets great control. The tight 1820 string pattern gives it a very low launch angle. And so someone like me who likes to take aggressive cuts at the ball, especially on the return where I like to step in and attack, that low trajectory keeps my ball from flying long and it keeps it low so that my opponent has a difficult time trying to poach it. It's also 100 square inches, so it actually gets a pretty decent amount of power even though it is an 1820 and it's incredibly stable. Also, the weight and balance is right within my wheelhouse. It's a 315 gram unstrung weight, 310 millimeter balance. The balance is usually the one category in the specifications that I look at the most. I look for something that's 310 millimeter or lower. So 305, that would be ideal if there was a 305. So this racket plays phenomenally at the baseline. It's very stable, very consistent, good control. What I don't like about this racket is that because it's a very tight 1820 string pattern, it does not get a whole lot of spin. And so on my service game, I really have to be dialed in with my serves. My kickers can kind of sit up there if I'm not falling through and pronating aggressively. My flat serve, I need to be really putting my weight behind the ball to get it as fast as it should be. Um, but ideally, I would string this with a natural gut in the mains for that extra power and try to pair it with a slick cross in the poly for that extra spin. So I just said that this is a fantastic baseliners racket. People with aggressive ground strokes would love this racket. The question that I get all the time is that, hey Ken, aren't you a servant volleyer? Don't you like playing net all the time? Why is a ground strokers racket arguably your favorite racket of all time? Well, for me, the answer is easy because I'm already comfortable at the net. That's where I thrive. I don't really need a whole lot of extra help on the volleys or in my net game. I look for a little bit more help from the backcourt on my ground strokes and my returns, which is why this racket is one of my favorite rackets because it gives me that control and that stability from the baseline that I can continue to play aggressively. If I'm playing doubles, to be honest, I don't hit very many ground strokes anyway. If I'm playing singles though, this, this racket from the baseline can keep me in those long rallies and it really incentivizes me to swing aggressively, which is what I like to do anyway. So that's the reason this is one of my favorite rackets of all time. It's because it helps to cover up a weakness in my game, which is my ground stroking. I don't need a whole lot of help at the net. So if you guys can pick this up, this is a very old racket, but if you guys are looking for a solid baseliners racket, these might still be in circulation. You can probably get them used, but the 2013 Head Utec Graphene Speed Pro is still one of the most solid baseliner sticks that I've ever played with. So I hope you guys can check it out. If you guys like this content and want to see more like it, be sure you overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.